Welcome back to Junior Mints. I'm your host, Finn Mints, for the third time in a row. And, um, yeah, so this show, in case, you, in case you guys don't know, is basically just where I talk about just random stuff on my mind. And for this week, this week, I don't know, but, uh, so let's just get right through the chase, right? 2021 is right around the corner. This is a tissue. Nope. 2021 is right around the corner. And we all want this dreaded 2020 to be over. Not because of the coronavirus uh, or something like that, you know? But because of just this year's just ups and downs. But you know what? I'm not going to get into that. What I am going to get into, on the other hand, is definitely... So November's coming up. And you know, you got those... You got those people that are going to do No Nut November, No Shave November, uh, other No Blanks November, I don't know what other categories there are. By the way, I got, I'm got i using a different computer, camera's up there, in case I'm just looking up. Um, but yeah, November's coming up, um, literally in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days or something like that, which is crazy, but that gives me hope that 2020, 2020 is nearing its conclusion. But who knows? We still got, we still got November and December, and the rest of October to 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 survive. So I don't know. I don't think it'll be that bad, quite frankly. Um, I do think we're in kind of an unpredictable time in our lives, and I'm sure you guys have heard that numerous times. I've heard it numerous times, whether it be through YouTube ads, like "Oh, everything's in a confusing time." I'm like, yeah, I know we're in a confusing time. Like, but. I have optimism that we're going to make it through. Sure, I have reached some days where I'm just like, oh man, it's all hopeless and crap, right? But if you think about it, it's it's literally all in, your, all in your head. You know, it's all... The majority of it is psychological, right? Like, I don't know, this year kind of went by fast for me because, let's see, from January to March, it was I was doing my junior year of college. Um, from March over to May, I was quarantined because of obvious stuff from may to august i was still kind of taking it easy staying inside because it's like we don't nobody knows what the heck is going on and in august to now schooling so it's like it it doesn't really affect like 2020 hasn't really affected me quite frankly i'm not talking about just for the virus or whatever it is i'm talking about just in general as as a year just in total like i don't know you kind of have to take the wins as you see them. Like, you gotta take the wins when you can. And anyway, but sorry, back to November. I don't know. Like, I'm almost done with my, you know, education and stuff like that. It's really exciting. But that's when this thing called seasonal depression kind of comes into play, and it and it really sucks, man. <laughs> like, it's the worst. Not to mention, with all the crap that we're in right now, like, that doesn't help at all. But it's kind of like, think about this, it's, it's, I mean, most of it is psychological, right? Most of it is inside your head. And I know it's, it's okay to be sad, of course it is. I'm, it's okay to be sad, you know. But, yeah, November, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think if I have any goals for November. It's kind of weird for me for November, because... Because, like, the first two weeks, I'm still schooling for a little bit. And then when my Thanksgiving comes around, I have a week for break. And then I go to online for my school. And I'm like, I don't I don't mind being online because the majority of what I do online, like, for school, is remote anyway. So it's kind of like, okay, that's, it's, it's okay. You know, it's, it's, it's what, so November, um... I don't know, September and October were pretty decent. Had my birthday in September, which was kind of fun. Uh, October is obviously, you know, Halloween season. I don't know. But um, on the other side, on the other hand of that, I gave up I gave up drinking in September, so that's pretty fun. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I won't go into the whole drinking thing, but yeah, it's crazy how, oh my gosh, it's crazy how, uh, it's crazy how November is right around the corner. And it literally feels like August was yesterday. Call me crazy, right? Um, yeah, we'll just, I don't know. I'm not too worried about things right now. But on the bright side, at least I'm not drinking. Because if I wasn't, if I, if I was drinking, I, okay, I'll admit it. I'm, there have been, like, so when, when, when seasonal depression 
hits me specifically, it really hits me, like, in different ways. And alcohol, being a depressant, doesn't help at all either. So, no drinking equals better seasonal dep- I don't know. I just I just know that if I'm if I was drinking right now during seasonal depression season, I would be feeling way worse, you know. But, you know, I'm not drinking. So, I'm just trying to look at the bright side of things, like what I can and cannot control, what I can and cannot do. Sure, it's it let me tell you, it's cold as crap outside. It's cold. it was it's it Mm, but by the time I'm recording this, it's October 26th. It was 19 degrees this morning. I woke up at 8 and left my apartment to go on a walk because I've got to wake myself up, right? It was 19 degrees. I was wearing this. Like, it's just this and that's it. It was cold. And we it's like we skipped over fall altogether. So, But Thanksgiving... Thanksgiving is going to be one of those interesting days where it's just like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I think it's, and then December, December is going to be, who knows about who, what, um, what December is going to even be like, right? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of taking it one day at a time, doing my thing. I'm trying not to stress about, uh, uh sorry, stress out about like the future. Cause no, I don't know what the heck the future holds, but like at the same time, it's important, I think to have an open mind, you know what I mean? Um, it pretty much what I'm saying is just focus. I, I, the way I do my best work is if I focus on the present. Sure, I, and I have my difficulties of focusing on the past, which is not the best habit, I will admit. Um, but focusing on the present is just what it is. Sure, you can plan. There's a difference between fixating on the future and just looking ahead a little bit, you know? Like, the future's scary, but I don't want to dive into it right now, you know? Like, I can wait for the future. I, I want to live the present, you know? Like, make that like a, like a, like a bumper sticker. Like, I can wait for the future, but I'm going to live in the present. It's just, I think it's a lot of, it's a, sorry, I didn't mean to make this episode of like, uh, like, so deep and psychological, and I'm like, eh, it's just the kind of things I think about during the winter time, especially, uh, just... I I need to not be on my phone as often either. Like I love I, I love Instagram and I love Snapchat and all that, but I want to focus on like what's happening outside of my social media apps, you know. But it's just difficult. Isn't it? So we'll just we'll. I think one of my one of my resolutions for 2021 is to kind of just I'm gonna work on living in the present more and like being disconnected somewhat. Besides besides my my show here. I, I don't know I don't know if you guys call it a show but I call it a show because I've never done a podcast like this before and quite frankly I love doing it so anyway yeah just you'll be fine uh, if you're having a more of the story you know if you're having like a rough day or something uh, or like you just can't get out of your head you're gonna be fine you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna be great it's it's all in your head don't worry know that you know people care about you and like you're fantastic don't tell don't let anyone tell you otherwise you're you are fantastic regardless of who you are okay and on that happy note i will you know thank you guys for watching this episode of junior mids <laughs> uh you know be sure to like and subscribe if you want if you want i'd greatly appreciate it if you did because i'm trying this whole podcast thing i think it's great so far like perfect system you know maybe messy background for now but you know but yeah feel free to drop a like comment down below if you want to talk let's continue the discussion somewhere else you know all right well we will see you guys next time thank you for watching junior mints i'm your host finn mints as you guys know and we'll see you guys next time see ya Pew.